Hey you guys, what's going on? How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry for keep you keeping you all waiting. Um, I totally forgot that I had to take care of the cat litter and everything. So I was like, oh crap, I got to, literally, oh crap. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing well. How's everybody doing tonight? How is everybody tonight? Happy Monday, happy day of, you know, work and all that fun stuff. <laughs> I was like, wait, am I gonna pause there? Am I gonna say something actually of like, genuine intellectualnessness okay i'm just making sure like everything is all good to oh wait no i forgot to send for the link on my discord um give me one second but yeah i hope everybody is doing well tonight I hope everybody's having a wonderful day night wherever you are i just need to put this link over here Doo -doo, there we go perfect Hey, what's going on, Fairy? I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It was a productive day today. I went and did errands. I recorded a video for Patreon. I did all sorts of stuff. The early access video I put up for my top five um, favorite bosses of uh, Dark Souls. And yeah, uh, that video is going to be out on Wednesday. I know there was no like video today, but there is going to be like a casual nerd, not tonight, but it's going to be like probably either Wednesday or Friday. I have to get like my, my, my managing system a little bit better for when I record certain things because I'm trying to find a good way to like balance recording videos for Patreon before they release onto, um, onto YouTube and everything like that. So I'm probably going to be like, um, editing the vlog and that's going to be going out. Uh, most likely tomorrow so yeah I have to find like a better system for <laughs> for managing different things and everything like that to post stuff on um, patreon so it goes out timely on there and then on YouTube so yeah but yeah everything else is going pretty good um, instead of coffee for tonight's shenanigans we have some Snapple iced tea in the house tonight so I'm very excited about that Oh, by the way, I did get to comment back to you, but thank you so much for that wonderful comment that you sent me on my post that I did. I really appreciate that. That was awesome of you. But yeah, I'm really excited about tonight's stream. Tonight, you guys, we are going into Cadehurst Castle. Now, hear me out for a second. I know that last stream that we did, um, I was fighting the uh, the One Reborn, and that fight was just all over the place. I was doing some exploring, um, I was gathering some echoes together, and there was a cutscene that happened. And I was like, what, what is this? What's going on over here? So, um, one thing that I realized was that I was apparently on the way to Canehurst. I was going back to like the witch's uh, channel or whatever it's called, and I was just collecting echoes because there's a bunch of enemies in that section where you can collect echoes and all that kind of stuff. And since I already leveled up, I'm at like level 51 now, I think, um, I was able to like get through all of those enemies so easily. And then it got to like a different section in like the obelisk area, and I was like, okay, there's a cutscene. Let's get this bread. So we are about to enter into that section now, and I'm very excited. So, oh, and as you guys might have told, um, seen from my, um, from my Instagram and from my Twitter, um, I went to the pawn shop and I got the new, uh, it wasn't a new, is it a new? I don't know if it's new or not. Um, Metal Gear Solid game. I've never played Metal Gear Solid in my life and I'm so excited to play it. I'm just checking if everything went through. Yes, everything went through. We are all good to go. Let's get into some of Cainter's Castle. Now, what I will say is apparently that this is a rare achievement. Um, not too many people get this achievement unlocked. And I didn't know that. Only like 24, 28% of people who are like playing this game um, unlock this achievement. This looks so pretty. Oh my god, it looks like Dracula's Castle. It looks so pretty. It looks so. What's that? Ooh, is that like a giant tick? Oh, that's a giant tick. That looks like a giant tick. I don't want any. Part. That's a giant tick. That is a freaking giant tick. Oh, that's a giant tick. Oh, that is a giant tick. I. 
What are you? That's a giant tick. That is a massive tick. That is not something I ever want to encounter. And I, I live on a farmish area, so I don't ever want to encounter something like that. That's not, no. Mm -mm. Nope, nobody, nope, nope, nope. That's, that's just gross. That, I want to see uh, what happens when I kill one of those things, like what kind of items I would get. This looks so cool. This entire area just looks so cool. What is this section? Oh my gosh, this looks so beautiful. Okay, it's not operable. I got it. Oh, no. I want to kill the tick. I want to get the tick off my back. Hello. Oh, damn it. Yikes. Ooh, 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 these enemies. Oh, okay, well, I'm de these, these are gonna be interesting. Hey, Matt, what's going on? Long time to chat, dude. How are you? Welcome on in. We're doing some of Kanehurst Castle in Bloodborne. I'm doing really, really good. I'm doing very good. Uh, I'm very nervous about this section, because this is one of the optional sections in the game, so I'm kind of nervous about it. But... Yeah, I'm doing really, really good. Um, I celebrated my birthday yesterday. I am the big 2-9 now, which um, apparently it's a big deal if you make it to this level. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very, very happy and excited that uh, everything went really, really well yesterday. It was a good birthday, so I'm just feeling very happy right now. I'm just gonna go straight into the castle. I'm not gonna... Oh wait, is there stuff over here? Oh, what's that? Oh, ow. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. You can't come in here. What? Oh, they can't come in the castle. <laughs> they can't come to the castle. What's that sound? Oh. <gasps> this is the look of pure joy in my face right now. This looks so beautiful. Wait, what are you? Oh, you're just a lady who's cleaning. Oh, ow. I'm sorry. Wow. This looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh. Okay, hi. Okay. Oh, bad med knowledge. Perfect. And there's a ghost over here. Hello. Hello, ghost. Hello. 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 And hello. No. Ow. Ow. Ugh. I love you trying to finish Resident Evil 3 on Inferno. It's Daniel like Souls games on this mode. Oh, goodness me. A writer's splack. Splack? Reader's splack? Writer's I don't know what the weapon is. That's actually a really good job. Oh, there's ghosts everywhere. There's ghosts everywhere. Um, that's actually a really good challenge. That's a very good challenge. I played it on that and it was, oof, it was chaotic to say the least. That was so chunk. I need that. Thank you. You're very easy to avoid. Oh, happy belated birthday. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, these ghosts are so well done. I love this. silver bullet. Oh my gosh. What is this? What are those? This Listen, I am loving it. Okay, wait, hold on. I want to go back. I didn't get to... Oh my god, what is it? Was that a chest? Yes, that's a chest over there. Oh, I got a noble chest. 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 Get out of my way, ghosty lady. Oh, the voice acting for the ghosts is so good. Is so good. They can't come out here. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Some swears have been yelled at. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not surprised at all. This is beautiful. I'm just taking it all in. What's that? That looks like it's gonna attack me. What is that? What? What is that? 
What is that? Hold on a second. Yep, that's a thing. Oh, that was a thing. Oh, this is so cute. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's... What was that? That's a bloodstone chunky chunk. Okay. Um, that... Okay, I don't know what that is. It looks like a kind of blah uh, about gargoyle. That looks like it could be a gargoyle. I'm not sure. Boink. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, look at that scenery. Look at all of this. This is a beautiful section of the game. This is beautiful. This is so freaking beautiful. I saw you. Oh, I saw you there. Oh, you can't get in there. Okay, that's good. This is beautiful. There we go. Man, I am on my A game tonight. I feel like I'm doing very well so far. These weird jumping idiots suck. <laughs> hey, Drew, what's going on? I'm so sorry, I forgot to say hi to you. His name is Steve, and he's an ass. <laughs> I just want to make sure there's nothing about me. Okay, hi, guys. Okay, so now that we uh, we have more people in here, um, I just want to say, by the way, thank you guys so much for the birthday love yesterday. It was absolutely insane. Like, I, I, I still can't get over the fact of how many people were just like, wish me happy birthday online. It was absolutely incredible. You guys made me just I don't know just feel like lighthearted and mushy and all that kind of stuff so I just want to say thank you guys you guys are absolutely wonderful people hey what's going on Pepsi welcome to the stream dude beautiful and all optional <laughs> well I want to get done as much content for this playthrough it's not a walkthrough because I've never played this game before but I want to get through like a lot of content in this playthrough optional or not and I'm very very excited about this part it makes me so happy. It looks like Dracula's castle. Like, literally, it looks like- Oh, whoa, 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 Okay, executioner stuff. Got it, got it. I wanted to grab that over there. I didn't know what that was. Um, it just looks gorgeous. What's this? What's this? Oh, that looks so pretty. What's this? Oh, is this an elevator that goes back to the beginning? I'm guessing it does. I'm guessing this is an elevator that goes back to the very beginning. Okay. Oh, yes it is. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. We, we, we've, we've knew. We, we've knew. We knew. We, we understood. Okay. Well, now that I know about that... All of these ghosts look so beautiful. Like, this is very well crafted, this section. Oh gosh, I don't like that. I'm running past you entirely. Oh, this is so beautiful. This reminds me of, um, what is it? Beauty and the Beast? I, this kind of reminds me of the movie a little bit of the library. Oh my god, so many bloodstone chunks. Yes. God, this is so beautiful. This looks kind of like the um, the Duchess Archives in a hall hall with Dark Souls. There we go. Anything for me? Yes, you are gonna give me stuff. I love you. crying, whimpering sound that these gals are doing right now. Oh, you are a candelabra thingamabobber. We love that. What's this? Oh, damn it. I could have gotten something there. Gosh darn it. Oh, uh, don't. Get away from me. Where exactly was I supposed to go there? That's weird. Oh, 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 wait, no. <laughs> nope, 
nope, nope, nope. Just gonna skadoodle up. Oh, she's holding up her head. Oh, that's what they're doing. Oh, that's what they were doing. I didn't want to. <laughs> they keep ripping off their heads there. That's not. That's not good. That's not good. That's not sanitary. So many goods. Oh, there's stuff I can collect. There's so many goods. So many goods. Oh, don't do that to me. I need to change my clothes. This is. Listen, stop ripping off your head. It is really not sanitary. Executioner's glove? Where's the executioner's glove? That's another gargoyle. That's the space where I can go. That's you keep ripping off your head. I'm going to uh, call security. So when they rip off their heads, they can they can do something real nasty. Listen, lady. All I want to do is just. What's that red mark that I have? This, there's just a lot. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's ladies ripping off their heads. There are people screaming. There's just a lot of. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Okay, I'm gonna try to go over here. Something I can collect from there. Um, I don't even think about it, but oh, you're so cute. There we go. There's probably something I can. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm like trying to look at. Uh, boink. No, 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 no. See, I don't want a crazy, crazy hag over here. There we go. Listen, I feel bad for you, but you can't go around messing up other people's days just because you got killed by a crazy husband. That's not how this is going to work, darling. Oh gosh. Ah, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Listen, I am the- Oh, that's a really sad lady. <laughs> it's like, look, here's my head. <laughs> Okay, where exactly do I go? I. So, it, oh, okay, this is just very interesting to me. Okay, it's a good thing that I that I died because I had no idea how to get out of that room. So I'll just take a different exit, swing right until morning. Hope all is well. How is the echo farming? It was good, and that's actually how I ended up finding this place because I intended to go to Canehurst, but I didn't intend to go there until like I had after like uh, until I had finished the boss of the One Reborn, and I was doing echo farming in um, what you call it in Hernwick's channel, Trinnel Channel. I think that's uh, how it's pronounced. I'm not sure, and apparently, if you have the um, something from uh, Losefka's clinic, the uh, Kanehurst summons, you can actually go there and apparently you summon the area in um, Hermic's channel, which I didn't know. And apparently there was just a cutscene that all of a sudden just started to happen. And um, I was just very, very excited about that. So we just decided to switch up the, switch up the game a little bit tonight. And we're gonna be going through this place during the stream. Because I know this is optional and I know people are gonna ask why don't you just stick with like the main storyline and everything. And it would, but this is really beautiful and it's reminding me of Dragon's Castle. So, truth. Oh, hi, Mr. Flighty. Don't even think about it. That's no. Thank you. 
Ugh. I wonder what the boss battle is going to be for this section. It's probably going to be very interesting. Considering the fact that this is an optional area, the boss battle is probably going to be more than likely very tough because for optional areas, they make their bosses uh, a little bit on the tougher side. Oh, there was a box over here and I didn't even see it. I didn't even see this one before. Vile Blood Register? Oh wait, I want to go to a safe place where I can read this really quickly. A register listing all known vile bloods. Oh. So wait a second. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there the vile bloods in Dark Souls 2 of where you could go into like the not a sector, but like you could be a part of the cult of the vile bloods or something like that. And correct me if I'm wrong, maybe it's only in this game, but I remember there being a vile bloods uh, cult or, you know, leech, the league that you could join in Dark Souls. It's tough. Oh, you went through this area, I'm guessing. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm afraid, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. Alright, what I want to do right now is I want to change out the clothing too. Since nobody I feel is going to bother me in this section, I can do that. Wait a second, I can wear a dress? Oh, <gasps> it looks so pretty! Wait, this is also the same dress for what it looks like from the uh, the prostitute in the um, in Odin's Chapel. It looks like it. Oh, knight's garb? Executioner's garb? <gasps> oh, that looks so pretty! Yes, this is happening right now. This is happening. This is ha- Look at me. Look at me. This is so beautiful. Look at me go. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. Yes. Oh, look at all of this right now. This looks so beautiful. Ooh, I feel fancy. I feel so fancy. Again with the screaming, I don't really think that that's necessary, ma'am. I don't really think it's necessary. I I know you're hurt. I I I understand. You are very hurt. It's not gonna do you well to do this. Okay, this time I will not fall. There we go. Oh, quick silver bolt. That's all it was. That's all it was. I can hear them from the other side. They're still tossing some damn bullets. Yep, uh, this area is unforgiving and so is the boss, although I did it in one take. You did it in one take? Oof, dude, look at you go. I'm very, very happy for you about that. That's really, really cool. I want to see what's down over here. Oh, those are other... Those are other gargoyles. Hi. No, you stupid... Stupid... <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay, we'll try that again. We'll try that again. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. <sighs> okay. Gosh, this outfit looks so beautiful. Please, this is the most. This it looks like the most amazing outfit I have seen in this game, so far. And from what I'm told, by the way, uh, there were no spoilers involved, but someone said from where I am right now, once I finish up the um, the one reborn, I'm very close to finishing the game for the main story. And they said that like, you're going on different side quests, you're doing different things and everything like that. But in reality, when you're doing like the main story where you are at currently, you are very close to finishing the game. Which I didn't realize that. Um, yes, this, <laughs> this game is like 14 parts right now. Um, or actually, no, 14 or 15. I think it's at 15 parts currently. Um, from what I put in the title. I don't know. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But um, from 
what I was told. Yeah, they're just like, oh, you only have a few more bosses until you like finish the game. Like, what? How? How is that even possible? It feels like I just started it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm just gonna scare you out of you right now. Oh, you can whine and groan and all that kind of stuff. Yes, you are close, but my lips are sealed. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not looking for, like, you know, spoilers or anything like that. Nah. It's just weird because it feels like I am so, like, I, I don't know why it feels weird, but it's just like, how, how is this game almost over already? How? How is this almost over already? Don't, no, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. Wait, hold on a second, I need to be able to read chat. Okay. Oh, I missed the beginning, I guess we're over at Kater's. Yes, we are. Message deleted. I didn't even see your messages, 702. Welcome to the chat. I hope you are well tonight. Okay, we're gonna go down here. Oh, perfect. No, no, I didn't do that again. I wanted to go over there. <laughs> oh, God. Technically, you're not almost over if you plan to finish all of the DLC and reach, um, boss of the dungeons. Yeah, I finished the first, um, what is it? I finished the first, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, I finished the first chalice dungeon, um, which I'm very, very happy about. But yes, I do plan on doing the DLC, which technically I want to do the DLC before the end of the game. Um, people are telling me do the DLC before you get to the boss called Margot's Wet Nurse, which that sounds like a very... <laughs> <laughs> interesting title for a boss battle um yeah they're telling me do it before that boss so technically i might try to aim for doing the dlc after this section you guys are just annoying okay i thought you were cute at first but now you guys you know you're just annoying right I don't know if there's a way to get to that area. Hold on a second, I want to boop up off the castle again. That was fun. Boop. <laughs> oh, bloodstone, another bloodstone chunk. I could probably level up my stuff by now. I just need to get, um... Wait, do I have any... No, I don't have any of those. I have five of those, though. No, get no consent. You did not. Nope. Uh uh. Oh, I did you. I'm nowhere near you. I was just trying to avoid you. And you stabbed me. It's so impolite. Not not of the politest nature. Okay. Oh. Locked it up. They, I'm so dead right now. I am so dead. <laughs> oh god. Oh goodness me. But yeah, all the dungeons I'm probably going to just do on my own because that's not immediately a part like of the main story of the game. It could have parts of the story of the game, but it's not like readily oh, excuse me. The main story. So How 
how it was worked today. It was good. It was very good. I was able to get uh, some videos done. Um, I got one up for Patreon for early access, which I think you guys might enjoy. For those of you who are not signed up to my Patreon, I think you guys might enjoy it. It's only like $3 a month. Um, it's a really fun video. It's my top five bosses of Dark Souls, which that's going to be out for everyone on Wednesday, and it's up early for Patreons right now. Uh, so I was able to get that done. I was able to get, you know, just a lot of Patreon work that I need to get caught up on. I uh, was doing that. And yeah, I, what was it? I was able to get some stuff organized for a new client that I have. And I think that's it. I did some grocery shopping. So yeah, I mean, work and everything like that was just, it went really swell today. It really did. Look at me saying swell. I don't know why I just said swell. I'm not 90. <laughs> I don't know why I said swell. <laughs> I'm a millennial, not a boomer. <laughs> okay. I really want to see if I can get over there. I probably can't, and that's okay. But this is... Just an interesting section in general. I'm just exploring at this point, okay? I am exploring. I think we're actually meant to go out there in that section. Ow. Yeah, I think we're supposed to just go out here. Okay. No, I real oh, okay, I really just want to get over there to that section. So it so well works. <laughs> I, I just want to get over there. I, I have a feeling that's where I am literally supposed to go, but I'm just being a double doof. really kind of weird to me out that someone came into chat and then they just delete their messages. I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me, dude. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I'm really sure I could do that. I'm really, really sure I could make that jump. That's where I came. Oh, so I don't technically have to go back there. Okay. So that's not the area that I have to go then. That cuts down on a lot of figuring out time. I appreciate that, Babsy. Um, so if that's where I came then. That? Okay. No, 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 Mr. Flighty. No, no. No, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna walk off. Ah, don't stabby. Don't stabby. Oh, no. I just wanna be able to do a thing. Yes. There we go. Oh, wait. Give me all your stuff. They were timed out for good reason. Oh, okay. Okay. Good to know. That's all I need to know. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, what I'm really going to do quickly right now, um, take a small detour back to the Hunter's Dream because I want to see if I have enough blood chunks to, uh, bloodstone chunks rather, to level up my, uh, my weapon. Because if we're going to go into a boss battle that is going to be chaotic, I want to be prepared. I have 20 health right now. I have 19 bullets. So we're going to make this happen. Dude, you're 
You're supposed to be sitting in your wheelchair over here looking all cute and stuff. Why why is he not here doing his job and over there he's probably just daydreaming? <sighs> okay, so uh hunter's axe. Yes, we're gonna weapon. We're gonna up this weapon. Perfect. That's at a level eight right now. Repair. Yeah, we got I need to repair. Perfect. I'm going to get some stuff over here. Uh, no, it wasn't over here, rather. Sorry, it was over here. the flame sprayer yet. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's a hunter's dream. He's just out there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, I think I'm st uh, starting 1886 again. Is that a game or is that a book? Um, not quite sure what that is. What is that? We are fighting dreamers. <laughs> <laughs> that like a very chaotic moment, dude. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Is there... Frick... Kierman! Where are you? I know you're dreaming, but seriously. Maybe come back. <laughs> okay, let's go back over there. Six a PS4 release game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I never heard of that game. Is it good? Is it something about like you know uh, a wartime game, or is it something that's more story related, or never know what it's about? Oh wait, that yes, I just saw something. Saw something out of the peripheral. Oh, there's so many. I don't want to disturb you guys, but hi. How are you? Nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. I need these things. I need these things. I need these things. I need these things. You're just not going to understand that I need these things. There we go. Perfect. I'm sure that I lost a little bit of HP there. See, speedrunners, they, they can never. Okay? They've gone through this game more times than... I can count in order to do a speed run, so they already know where everything is, which is just amazing to me, honestly. <laughs> I'm so sorry that your husband killed me. <laughs> sorry. Uh, if you check out the trailer, it's looking pretty sharp game. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'll have to check it out. So this is the part where um, maybe I'm not supposed to. Oh. oh no, no. That's okay. So that's where I was before. That's where I was before. Okay, I see what you're talking about. I see what you're talking about. I see what you're talking about. Nope. Sorry, 
on the story 10% of gameplay. I see, I like that. I like that they focus a lot more on the story. That That's really, really good. Oh, wait, there's a ladder over there. Oh, oh, there's a ladder. There is a ladder. Hold on. Hold your horsitas. Hold your horsitas. Hold on, there's a ladder over there on that section that I could probably get to. And that is over there. Okay. Okay. See, this is the part that I love about a new game. Figuring things out, understanding that I'm probably gonna get stabbed. Holy crap. That... Okay, where... Where was it? Oh, where was it? Oh my gosh, you're all like congregating one area. One area. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, so there was a ladder over there that I need to get to. Short words about nine hours. Wow. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so I see a ladder over there. We got this. Oh, that's a good stretch. Oh, good stretch, man. Okay. Whew. It's a Monday. I can't help but yawning, alright? Regardless if the game is good or bad or whatever it is, I'm still gonna yawn. Oh, to answer your question, the Order is a group in 1886 London that fight creatures using special weapons that are steampunky. The MIB, but for lichens and vamps and such. Ooh, okay, you said lichens and vamps. You caught my interest now. That actually sounds really, really cool. Can you do me a favor? Um, can you send me a link to that on Twitter? Actually, no. People can't send me DMs unless I follow them. Um, can you tag me in the trailer on Twitter? Because I really want to see that. That looks really interesting and that sounds really interesting too. Oh, Valia, you're making a mess of the place, darling. You're destroying all the candles. And I'm, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry for destroying your place. Oh, gosh. Just go ahead. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, either or is perfectly fine. Whatever works best for you. Nope. <laughs> don't try to hug me, you gargoyle. Are they gargoyles? I don't know. Maybe they're just really, really weird little bats. Okay, okay. So, hold on a second. Before I get attacked or anything, I just want to see what the ladder could possibly be. I probably have to go up the stairs again to shoot. So where would that ladder be? Yeah. There we go. I love a good visceral. Love a good visceral in the morning. Okay, see, that's where the ladder is. And that's where the platform is underneath that. So... Is hold on a second. Okay, so that's where the ladder is. So how can I get to the ladder over there? 
What? Okay, this is this is gonna be very interesting to get to, but we can figure it out. See, at the ladder, it's right up here. I can just go right over there. Oh my gosh. supposed to get okay so that's on the other side it's just supposed to be like a lever or something like that hold on a second I'm, oh there's a lever right there right there right there okay 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 um okay okay Um, hi, what's up? How you doing? Okay, all you need to do is go to the liver. The liver, the liver. Go to the lever thingy. It's all the way over there. All the way over there. Where is it? Where's that lever? I can't find the damn lever. I probably look so stupid right now. Where is that lever? Okay, no. Nope. It's on the other side of this place here, so it has to be like where I can go over there. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. Well, I know where I need to go. I just need to get there. <sighs> this could be interesting. It's a puzzle. I'm ready to solve it. Good thing those things cannot get into the castle because, oh boy, <laughs> that would have not been good. That would have been a freaking doozy. Babs, I, I see, I see you. I see you. I see, I see. I can, I can, you know, I've heard your voice now and I can hear your sarcasm from here, okay? <laughs> I can, I can hear it. <laughs> over there. Hold on a second. I just don't want to get attacked yet. I'm just trying to visualize where I am. And at the end over there, that's where the lever should be. Okay. And that's where that is.
way to get a visceral attack in. To practice them, at least. other side that's where the lever is so I need to get to that other side it shouldn't be that difficult it really should not be that difficult and yet it is for some reason okay so that's the other side is there a stairwell I know this probably looks so stupid. I'm just trying to like, <laughs> I'm just trying to picture everything in my head of where it is. And since that's the area that I've come back from, where I tried going before, go away. Okay, I've switched from work to paint bills and doing paperwork. Please continue to entertain me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I can't go through over there because that just takes me where I was before. No, don't do it. I just want, I just want your echoes. Okay, well, okay. don't listen to me. Maybe hipsters should try thinking outside the box. So, I should go outside the window area that I was before is what you're telling me. Oh, wait. No! Ow! God, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I, okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait. I think, nope, I know, I know, I know what to do, I know what to do, I know what to do. I didn't go to psychology learning for nothing, <laughs> okay? I didn't do this college thing for nothing. <laughs> oh, stop. Okay, you're not Laura Croft. Stop breaking everything. Oh, no, no, don't, don't stop me! <laughs> Yikes. Go away. Go away. Listen, I look too pretty for you to kill me. Stop it. So, every stream, H2 hits something on accident. <laughs> oh, gosh. Did I play the new Resident Evil? Are you talking about Resident Evil Village? Yeah, I have a walkthrough of it on my, uh, on my channel. I know I haven't been here for that long, but it just seems to be a pattern. I'm always clumsy in a video game. That's just, that's just me. That's just who I am. <laughs> that's basically like my MO is clumsiness. <laughs> Sometimes I won't be clumsy. Sometimes I'll actually do the thing correctly that I need to do. But other than that, yeah, just clumsy 24 seven. That, see like this right now, that's just me, clumsy. I'm so tempted to have like a snack while I'm eating that I don't want to have you guys hear me chewing on the mic. <laughs> It was the epiphany moment for me. <laughs> yep, because I realized I was right the entire time, just not uh, in the right section, if that makes sense. Like, I was in the right area, but I was going about it wrong because I was originally going back to where I was instead of going in that small section over there. So, oh, so okay. If you see me, like, just holding my nose during stream, it... Uh, my cat managed, I don't know how the hell he managed to do it, but he smacked me across the face in a way in which his claw hit directly inside my nostril. Like, I don't know how the heck he did that. I don't know how he managed to do that. 
but he did. And my nose is so freaking sore right now. I had to use the iota for even inside my nose. It didn't burn at all. I have a high pain tolerance, but it was like, woo, lordy that smell. Alcohol up the wazoo smell. <laughs> Feel free to chew, we won't judge harshly. <laughs> yeah, because I am starting to get a little bit peckish. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Um, minimal mistakes, if we shall. Yeah, see, I don't know. Do the screen and then stop the screen. So your cat picked your nose precisely in a very hurtful manner. In a very hurtful manner. Okay, here is the epiphany moment. One, two, three, and, um, yeah, this is the epiphany moment. Right over here. Right, where is it? Don't even think about it, this thing. It's supposed to be, like, literally right around here. With lethal force. <laughs> I literally lo I love how she's holding her head. We love that for her. Not out there. I don't want out there. Out there is dangerous. I don't like outside. What? No. Okay, I thought there was something. Never mind. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. Listen. Okay. Okay. Listen, buddy. Wait, what? Is that a vampire? <gasps> Are there vampires in Kinghurst? <coughs> Wait a second, really? It looks like he was sucking on my neck over there. Oh my gosh, there are vampires in Kinghurst? <gasps> what? To be honest, who the heck designed this castle? <laughs> Both were smoke attacks. Oh, that was, oh, that was a bird. I love it. Well, you almost had it. I, oh, okay. I thought I had the epiphany moment. Because <laughs> I thought it was on the right side. Oh, God. Like, he literally took the claw and he went drag up. I'm like, oh, God. He really gave me a nose job. <laughs> I, I love this. Okay, now, now I understand why people are telling me that this is going to become one of my favorite sections of the game because it is. It's, it's really stunning. There are vampires. Which, by the way, for those of you who are new to uh, my YouTube, um, I wrote a thesis on vampires in college, uh, on the psychology of the history of vampires, to be more exact. Um, I still have the thesis, and I'm thinking of actually getting it published because I really want to I really want to have it published. So, yeah. It's just a little bit about me. That's why I get so excited about anything that has to do with vamp like vampiric lore and vampires in general. I, yeah, that's one of the main reasons why. I've loved the history of vampires for my whole life, and it's something of where, like, I will always cherish it. You read the white way and then went the wrong way. <laughs> You know what, my phone is ringing right now and I don't care.
guess let's go this way. I'm guessing not that way because that's outside the map. Yeah, that's inside the map. That's where I came from. So. Keyword outside. Now it's radio silence, so you pull that lever crunk. <laughs> Don't, don't vampy slap me. There we go. Anything over there? No, nothing over there. Keyword outside. I can't go over there because that map is not accessed yet. If you get the paper published, could I call you the vampire lady? <laughs> sure. <laughs> See, this is the part about a new video game that I love. I love searching and exploring and to an extent almost getting lost because it's, you know, it's fun. You get to explore and do the things in the video game and build the territory a little bit more. Okay, so I want the... <laughs> well, I could try to give you clues by the way of stupid dad puns if you want. Um, you know what? The thing is, is that like I'll ask for help when I need it. Um, so right now I still want to suffer a little bit. No, not not exactly what I want to do. No, not exactly what I want to do either. I just want to get all of these witches, not witches, but like ghosts down so I can- No, my batteries are low! My batteries are low! Okay, alright, Mrs. Hack and Slash. There we go. Their sound design, by the way, is so good. So freaking good. Yeah, no, I know you did. I know you did. So I'm suffering too? <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm just like, literally, I am... I'm, I'm trying. Guys. I'm trying here. Okay, so apparently I'm not in the right section because in here is just a freaking dead end. No, no. No, be a nice ghost. I'm looking even on the ground to see if I can see the lever. Aha! Take that much damage. 
like if they gang up on you all at once, then yes, they will take severe amounts of damage that you have never seen. But oh no, back up a little bit. There we go. Oh, I thought I killed you. <laughs> Whoopsies. Is that all of them in this room? I think that's all of them so I could just explore a little bit here. Jesus. These things, yeah, no, they respond. Okay. I already got those. I got those. Oh, not here? Okay. Well, apparently they, they respond before because whenever I killed one of them, one of them respond when I died the last time. So there's apparently nothing, there's nothing here, there's literally nothing here. Could, I would just clip through this die and then go back to where I was before. Wait, oh my god. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm such a freaking idiot. Oh my god. Why did I not see this here before? Why did I not see this here before? What in the freaking hell? What, wh how, why? What in five shades of everything that is unholy? Oh God. Freaking heck. I can't, I literally can't with myself right now. The thing was over there and I didn't even see it. Oh my goodness, see, this is the fun part about not like, Oh, God, not having anybody telling you what to do. That's it. That's the fun part. I gotta just pause for a second because, damn. Why are these ghosts sound like they're moaning right now? This is PG-13. Okay, people. Somebody needs to clip that epiphany moment. Holy moly. <sighs> okay. All right, this entire, this entire stage is just gonna be me having epiphany moments. They're too little too late. Oh, this is so pretty. Everything is just so pretty here. There's so many of these as well. Warm blood gemstone. Okay, that's probably used for a weapon buff. I like, I like. I wanna check over here and explore. Told you it was the simplest hit. Yeah, it was the simplest hit. And literally, I would. It's just. Oh my god, my brain. My brain sometimes. This is just beautiful. Look at all of this. Look at this shit. It's beautiful. Oh, wait. No. 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 There we go. Perfect, yes, I love it. Nice attention to detail, you can see characters, but I know, right? It's so cool. It's so freaking cool, I love it. Okay, so we just run around that entire place. This is just beautiful. Like, I'm, okay, hold on a second, I'm taking a picture of this because this is, hold on a second, this is just stunning. So stunning, so freaking beautiful. Excuse me, I almost burped it. Oh gosh, what have we 
about to get ourselves into. Knight's wit. Okay. Do not even think about it. Is there something over here? No, there's not a gate over there. Uh, nope. I'm guessing we're supposed to Indiana Jones this and just go down here. Okay. All right. What do you mean, oh no? What do you mean, oh no? Am I about to fight the boss? Actually, no, radio sound. Oh, Jesus Christ, Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you say, oh no, that means I'm either about to fight a boss or I'm about to die from something. Or there's going to be a revolutionary part in the game that I'm going to go, oh my god, oh my god, towards. What the? Okay, this way. Wait, 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 I see something over here. Oh, Bolt Hunter's Mark, okay. I haven't seen one of those in a hot minute. that I need to collect. No, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is beautiful. This is very, very beautiful. What? Oh, something's gonna happen. Oh, gosh, this is probably the boss. Okay. Alright, let's get it together, kids. Wait, what? Oh, look at a crown. Can I have it, please, honey? That looks gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> it reminds me of the corn <laughs> from Stephen King. Is this Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, all over again, except this is his, you know, brother? Gwyn, Lord of Ash? Oh, this is iconic. This is so cool looking. And there's no other lamp, so this is going to be one hell of a trek if I die. Oh no. 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 Oh no! Shit. Whoa. This guy has a stick up his ass. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got this, man. We got this. It's okay. I'm fine. Really? No. I have apps. I'm absolutely fine, you guys. <laughs> and it starts us off over there. That's lovely. Okay, well, at least we have the elevator. Which is, you know, somewhat of a reprieve. Oh, we have one insight for finding um, Martyr Lagarius. Great. Love that. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's all of the Oh man. Yeah, all of the the, the witchy bitches were Yeah. Okay, this is somewhat of a shortcut. This isn't too terrible. The walk back yeah, exactly. Like I don't like that. I don't like that walk back. It's not too much of a walk back considering the shortcut that we got over here. But it's not fun either. Like, I'm not a fan of that. That's just not cool. Not cool at all. 
Although, on the plus side, I will say, there are not, uh, there aren't any demons or anything like that besides these two, you know, fanged assholes over here. So, this isn't too, too terrible with that shortcut, I will say. Yeah, this isn't too, too terrible. I mean, Bloodborne is, is cruel sometimes, but it's not, <laughs> it's not that cruel. <laughs> Well, at least she hit the lever from, uh, before my <laughs> At least I got it in the stream, you know, that's a plus. <laughs> and I got a pretty outfit to go along with this boss battle, you know? You gotta think in positives here, kids. Always in positives. And you know what I'm gonna use, actually? I'm not gonna be stupid about this boss battle. I'm going to use the bold paper, because I'm not gonna go into this boss battle, uh, you know, just fighting Barry. I did. Hold on one second. This boss is going to show you what I meant on a scale of 1 to 10, how hard the bosses get after ROM. Oh yeah, and I said 100. Yeah, this this boss has some pretty quick moves already, I can tell. Um, I'm going to do that. Oh, what is it? Summon a Wrathful Spirit. It's interesting. Okay, so we're going to take that. And we're going to do this. No, 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 don't, don't run away from a party. Don't run away from a party. Don't, don't run away from a party, I said. Oh, oh, okay, you like to play games. I see, I see. Oh, I, he really likes to play games. <sighs> I'm gonna do what I always do with bosses. I'm going to look up their weaknesses, just so I don't, um... Just so I don't, you know, um, act stupid here. So, we're gonna do that really quickly. Hold on one second. Seriously, your boss is Ligarius, my boss is losing my pen, and that just happens. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, hold on one second. I'm gonna look up the weaknesses for this boss really quickly. Okay, so. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Okay, it states here that um, <laughs> the deciding factor is how much magic he, uh, he decides to use. Interesting, okay. Um, wait a second, hold on, hold on. Well, it's not giving me what his weaknesses are. Um, martyr, carious weaknesses. Okay, if he tries to cast a spirit wave, he needs to back off and stay away for a few seconds since that attack is not interruptible. Ligarius' weaknesses here, his aggressiveness, which make him an easy target for gunshots to interrupt him and land a visceral attack. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Interesting. And people are telling me that I should fight this boss at a level 75. What level am I currently right now? I'm a level 53. <laughs> oh god. Alright, you know, we're gonna try something actually. I wanna see if I have enough um, cold blood and whatnot to level up to something at least. I first played through, I didn't know you could save people and I didn't know Kanehurst existed. Oh gosh. Yeah, I was made aware to it um, uh, from, I think it was you actually, who told me about if I'm going to do Kanehurst, and I was like, what is this Kanehurst place? So, I, you know, I looked it up, and I was like, oh, that's interesting, Com forgot completely about it, and then found it by accident. 
Um, let's see. No, I'm not at 128. <laughs> Nowhere near. Oh, wow. Holy crap. 16,000. Welcome. What? Um. Very well. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna sell some stuff just to level up one so I can do something with it. I don't need these, actually. I really don't. Um, do I need that? What is that? Oh my gosh, it's 10,000? Jeez, well, I'm keeping that thing. I don't need the flame sprayer at all. Okay. I to pick it up by accident. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait a second. What? What is this place? Very well. All right. So I'm going to up the strength. There we go. I'm a level 54. Oh no! Better watch out. It's freaking level 54 over here when I should be a level 75. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Does it say anything else about his weaknesses? Um, hold on a second. Oh, here it is. The uh, Bloodborne Wiki. So, location drops. Drops combat information. Strategies. I'm looking for weaknesses. I just want to look for weaknesses over here. I'm not looking to do any of that. Okay, so it's not giving me weaknesses in a way. I felt kind of bad. Due to me, October, my friend's buying a PS5. Um, I christened it by doing a BB speed run, and I didn't hit the castle. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, good hunter. I, I know for a fact that I am not going to probably get this boss battle in this episode, so I'm going to try for like a couple more times, and then we might end it off, because right now it's 8.35, I might go until like 9 o'clock, but then I have to like record videos and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So, um, I'm going to try a few more times, see what happens, you know? And then after the stream, I am so having more Chinese food. I am craving it like there's some more tomorrow. Although I do have to say, if this is where the boss battle is, this is a very short section of the game. Like, I feel like it was just added because, oh, they, you know, they wanted to add something, which normally adding things into a game just to add them, in my opinion, is kind of taking away from the original point of what the game should be but in this case it works it really really works this section is beautiful and it adds to more of the lore it adds to more of like the history of what bloodborne is so i think that that is so cool that they added this game especially not this game, this uh this section especially you know this just works i feel just remember the boss is optional yeah, I know, but you know how stubborn I am. <laughs> you know how stubborn I am. Nope, don't. Oh my god, Ooh, that was close. Oh lordy. If it gets to a point where it's that bad that I, I can't finish it in a timely manner of where it like hinders my completing the game, then I'll move on. But, you know... I want to try. Even with Amygdala, I knew that that boss was optional, and I still got it done, even though it was really difficult to do, because I wanted to be able to get the, um, the Chalice Dungeon 
thing that it had and um, you know have another notch on my belt for completing it. <laughs> Do this. Also, remember to use my gun, too. Okay, he's using an AoE there. Oh. Interesting, so that holds a lot of power, those AoEs. So you really got to steer clear of those. Okay, so you got to stay away from those AoEs big time. Or else you're just, you're done so. I mean, if you really want this boss, I'm always down for the sake of your curiosity. <laughs> I appreciate that, Pepsi. Thank you. Yeah, Amygdala is required to get the Chalice Dungeon main boss, I believe. Yep, it is. That's why I really wanted to do it, because at some point, I want to just 100% this entire game. It's worth it. I mean, this game is absolutely stunning. The story is incredible. And much like Bloodborne, it's slowly becoming one of my favorites. Even though I haven't finished the, the entire thing yet, it just, it looks just, oh my god. The story, as it progresses, looks so good. I got stuck on a chair, lady. You can't do that to me. Yeah, the more I'm seeing it now, the trek back to the boss is not that long whatsoever. It's not that bad. You always gotta go in the body. God, I knew that was gonna happen at least once. Oh, I knew that was going to happen just at least once in my time playing this game. I was going to have that plunging fall. That was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Oh wait, did I forget anything over here? I'm sorry, I just forgot that I should at least check and see. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew I forgot something over here. Ah, friends in cold blood. Okay. I mean, you didn't fall. You tested gravity. <laughs> I think I'll try to find gravity. Kiss me goodbye. I'm defying gravity. And you won't pull me down. That was a favorite, actually, of the drama club that I was in in college. We would sing that like there was no tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Oof. That was a favorite of ours. We would stop singing it. Sorry, I keep yelling you in the stream. Oh, excuse me. Oh. You 
drama club, not surprised. <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, I loved the drama club. The teacher was a pain, rest his soul, but he was an absolute pain sometimes because he always said, if I'm talking, you should be writing notes. <laughs> Like, this is one of the main things, because I remember taking um, drama class, and that was one of the electives that I chose for, I think it was either my freshman or sophomore year, and he started singing randomly during the class. And I was thinking to myself, is this dude on drugs? Like, legitimately, I'm not, like, I wasn't trying to be rude, I was just thinking to myself, oh gosh, is this dude on drugs? I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> So, it was very interesting to say the least. Uh, that class, I ended up getting an A in it, but it was very, very interesting. Okay, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, what? Oh, 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 what was that? I didn't even get to use my stuff. Okay. I... Okay. His AoEs, ha they pack a punch. They literally take your entire health out. That is... That is... Wow. <coughs> Holy moly. Um, that, that one reborn doesn't look too bad right now. <laughs> um... You guys, I'm at a level, what, no, I didn't want to do that, no, stop. I'm at a level 54 right now. I am way under leveled for this. So, uh, since we found the boss, we went through Canehurst, so the entire thing we went through and we found like all the little bits and bobs and collectibles and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to take care of the main story boss and level up some more because I feel like it'll be a disservice uh, to just jump into this unprepared. Like, that's what I really feel like I'm doing. I'm jumping into something unprepared. So, this is not me chickening out, by the way. I don't want you guys to think that I'm chickening out of this because I, I'm not going to do this under leveled. I want to do it, but I feel like I would just keep losing if I do not level up more. At least to like a 60 or 65 at the most, you know? I am severely underleveled. I just, whew, severely. Um, uh, Yarkel Chapel, Unseen Village, Abandoned Old Workshop. Uh, where was it that I was before? Um, I was in, I think it was in Yarkel. Yeah, I think it was in Yorgul. Yorgul Chapel. There we go. Yeah, yeah, Babs. I, jeez, I am, I mean, the entire area is stunning, but I'm going to go back there when I'm, like, <laughs> properly leveled up, because fighting that thing at a level 54, when people are saying, oh, like, what, from what I just looked up, you're supposed to be at least a level 75, that is, my goodness. Now you're gonna need more than 65 for that boss. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, seeing as that, like, a, you know, that's an optional boss, that's. Man, they made that thing pack a punch. Also, you wanna see something cool that I figured out? Look at this. Oh, oh we. <laughs> and I just collect all their stuff. <laughs> and that's how I leveled up to a level 54 from a level 50. I just did that for a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we can deal with the one reborn. At least get one boss <laughs> during this live stream. Because that would be something that is very good. Would love to do that. Oh, now I remember where to go. <sighs> Yourself, you sound constipated, dude. Jeez, take a laxative. This is an even shorter trek to a boss. Ew. 
You're gross. Oh my god, you're like so gross, Linda. <laughs> Hey, what's going on there, fleshy? Okay, wait, we don't- no, 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 I need to kill, I need to kill. Oh, no, 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 heal, 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 heal. Oh, heal, heal, heal. Okay, heal. Whoa, heal! Oh, well, almost. <laughs> it was. It honestly was. It honestly was. Oh my gosh. I almost got it. I got half of his health first try. So that was good. If I can get it the second time, I'll be really happy. You guys, what I'm going to do really quickly is I am going to grab myself another drink and I will be right back. Give me one second because I'm really, really thirsty right now. And hello, hello, we are back with some boost, not sponsored. I'm sponsored by air, the very air that I breathe. I need a boost right now through this boss battle. There was a, um, what's we call it, a speed run of Bloodborne. I remember seeing, and the guy finished in like 34 minutes, still can't get over that. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready. I forgot to get the visceral on his head. That's why. I'm not wearing the headphones right now because my ears just started to hurt a little bit. So. I feel like this stream is doing a lot better than like, this game is <laughs> because, I don't know, normally I feel like off my game or something like that, that I'm not gonna duel or something, but this time I feel like today I'm doing really well with it. I'll be busy playing Evil and Infamous too. <laughs> I think my best run was two hours, but that's because some of the shortcuts uh, I just sucked at executing. Oh gosh. Oh, I hate those splatters that they do. Ah, oh, 
Oh, see, I, I hate that. I, oh my gosh, I hate that. I just gotta stay really close to its body. If I get out anymore, that's when it'll do those like big swinging gahonchins at me. Actually, wait one second. Nope, okay. Now getting that werewolf to bite you just right is pretty killer. <laughs> you know, especially the way that the werewolves turned uh, in this section of the game after the blood moon rose. That was pretty interesting to uh, to say the least because everything turned to a different kind of viciousness after you killed Rob. Like, oh gosh, that was really fascinating to see. Like, the game really changed up. I feel like that was the pivotal turning point in the game was after Rom was defeated. Really fascinating. See, I hate that they do that. They didn't ask my permission. That was quick. Oh gosh, my other run was so much better than that. Oh my gosh, I feel like I get one really good run and then it just like goes downhill from there. <laughs> Speedrun tactic is to first get the werewolf to bite you, to animate you through the gate and get you to the forest super early. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh. 
Oh wait, no, I didn't put it into the... Why did I just do that? shot and I said no. He slid into my DMs and I just denied. So basically you could be fighting wrong literally five minutes or something. Yeah exactly and that's it's I, I don't know it's interesting to see like on a different note the difficulty of the bosses range is so much I think that's one of the brilliant things about this game because some bosses like the first one like the cleric boss I fought that one in one shot and that was, you know, that was it. That was the easiest boss in this game, in my opinion. And every other boss has its own level of difficulty. The witches of the uh, channel. That was another very easy boss. I got that in like two goes. That was so incredibly easy. Um, it, again, like, you know, a lot of the other ones, like Vicar Amelia, got that in a couple of streams hard, but also, you know, easy-ish at the same time. Oh, I'll answer the question right after um, this one. Just give me one second. Work hours do you keep during the week? Um, let's see, normally I work from, uh, let's see, 6 in the morning until about, like, if it's a stream day, until about, like, 10, 10.30, give or take. Um, what I normally do during the day is, like, I'll wake up at, like, what, uh, 6, 6.30, sometimes earlier if I have stuff planned. Um, I'll, you know, if I stream in the morning, I'll do some streaming from 7.30 to about 9. And then after that, if I have client meetings, I'll go from that until like 12 o'clock. Then after that, I'll work on, uh, if I have like other types of stuff that I need to do for like my mom's website. Or, um, if I, like, have other things to do, like outside of the construction work with my dad or anything like that. Um call it then I'll do that but yeah other times you know like un until about geez after that for a few hours I'm recording I'm editing I'm doing all sorts of stuff and then at four o'clock 4 30 I'll have dinner with my family and then after that if I'm having a nighttime stream then I'll do that at like 6 30 or 7 um other than that I'm recording I'm talking with friends at the nighttime I'm chilling I don't really work during the nighttime unless I absolutely have to um but yeah, that's basically what I do. So. <laughs> Will you stay up until that late? When I was in college, I could pull all-nighters and everything. I just, I can't anymore. I don't know what it is. I just cannot pull those all-nighters that I used to. fire instead. Let's go for it. Yeah, most of the day, if I'm not working on my stuff, I'm usually, like, outside doing construction with Dad or, like, working on client work or anything like that. I just got a new client, um, as well, so my <laughs> my days are pretty packed, <laughs> to be honest. It's, it's insane. Oh, I had to add in so it's an injury. You couldn't just sleep well. 
well enough alone. I honestly really want to get this boss in the stream. I feel like it's possible. I feel like it really is. But... Congrats on your clients. Thank you. I appreciate that. One of them uh, is a friend and she's uh, a big streamer, Rora Pickles. If you guys have ever heard of her, I know Babsy's heard of her. She, he's been watching her for a little bit. Um, uh, another one, uh, I don't know if it's going to pan out yet, so I'm not going to say the person's name on camera yet. Um, and there are other people that I have a lot of contact with currently that I sent them my reels, I sent them, you know, my, uh, my rates and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. If, you know, they like my work enough to, uh, to, you know, partner up with me and, you know, so I can work on their stuff too. It'll be really cool. to equip the, the fire paper, I'm most likely going to die again on this one because I didn't equip it, but we'll see what happens. Are you talking about Metal Gear Solid? Wait a second, was that a collector's edition? Oh, gotta stretch. Okay, I didn't think that was a collector's edition. Let me take a look. Uh, this is the day one edition. But they had for the Metal Gear Phantom Pain. This will be very interesting to see how that's done in the Middle East. castle than I did with these guys. Okay, fine. That's cool. What's so cool now, I just have to say as just a little side note, now that I have a PS4, getting to play all of these games that I never got to play on a, uh, you know, before in my life, it's just so cool. Because, yeah, they brought Death Stranding to PC, and they brought Horizon Zero Dawn to PC, and I thought, oh, that's cool, you know, they're just gonna, you know, bring all these different games to PC, and it's gonna be really, really awesome to, you know, to have, um, to have them on the system, you know, that I play the majority of the time. But it was just so cool getting that surprise and just being like, hey, there's a surprise, it's PS4! And I was just, I don't know, I'm just elated that I can play God of War, and I can play, um, the Last of Us Part 1 and 2, which I am so incredibly nervous and excited for that playthrough. You guys have no idea. I cannot wait to play that and do a walkthrough of it. Um, because I'm going to be recording that series and not live streaming it, so it'll be very interesting to do. <clears throat> oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, you... 
for shuck attack. <laughs> Come on, really? I, all I did was run. That's all I did. Oh, jeez. We love that for me. to a couple of rounds of these just rather be safe than sorry i would say i want to be a pc gamer but all my money goes to playstation and nintendo because that's what my what my wife and kids prefer uh yeah well pc is like one of the more expensive things to um to really start diving into i mean ask you know if you want any advice on like pc builds you can ask me or babsy because i know babsy's in the process right now of like planning out his PC build and everything um, but yeah it's it takes time to build a good PC or you know if you get one pre-made that, that's also fine too there are a lot of really great pre-made PCs out there um, getting one and building it yourself however there I will say there is a certain kind of sentimental nature that goes along with it too because you are building your own PC you are getting to see like all of the ins and outs of how the PC works, where the RAM goes, where the SSD cards go, where the storage goes, all of that kind of stuff. Like, you're getting to see the ins and outs of the PC in a way that you've only ever just seen, like, others do, to an extent. So, I don't know. I think, for me personally, building your own PC, I prefer it over getting a pre-made model, if that makes sense. But I love PS4 and Xbox because of the fact that they are their own, you know, uh, dedicated gaming consoles. Like, they're only made specifically for gaming, which is pretty darn cool. It really is. I'm just going back and forth racking up Echoes really quickly because I want to be able to get as much health as possible, so... And I know I'm like, over my time limit right now, but I want to be able to get this boss in this stream. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Just as a backup story, I built my first PC at 10. Oh, nice. What kind of PC was it, if you don't mind my asking? health right now so that should be good enough one of the secret treasures hidden in Kate Hurst the glove executioners oh interesting that's what the executioner's glove is that's pretty cool okay I like that that is pretty gnarly Get it done for him. It was like 368, I believe. That's you should not be putting that on a 10 year old. I'm sorry, like, I don't care, like, what the cost is or like what's going on or what the scenario is. You do not ask your 10 year old to build you a PC. 
that, uh, no. I, I would, out of the question, I would never ask my 10 year old to be killed if you see I wouldn't even trust him to hold the damn parts. Let alone build it. Like, what in actual five shades of hell is that? Like, that's not parenting. No offense. <laughs> Here I am building it just for fun. <laughs> Why? Heal, 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 heal. So the bolt actually up finding looks better than the fire. Interesting. Second generation programmer, dad was an early uh, Fortean combo programmer, then switched to DB2 focused on back end server stuff. Okay, interesting. 27, I barely trust myself. What? Okay. Cool. Welcome to the um welcome to the, the, the chat, Fester Films. <laughs> but no, I just <laughs> I'm being over dramatic. I don't trust any kid with PC parts. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, no offense, but it's just like why would I have my ten year old build my PC? Why? What why? Just why? Why would you trust a ten year old with that? That's just no. That's also kind of like, okay, you know, I don't want to do it. I'm pawning it off on my kid. Like, ugh, geez. Yeah, I mean, my entire, what, my entire build, I think, was a little over $2,000. By the end of it, I think it was like, with everything included, and I'm going to be generous with this, maybe $2,300. So, that was, yeah. If I include the screens, if I include like the peripherals and everything, we're talking an easy like $3,500 for everything. Because I got the peripherals and the mic and everything like that way before I actually ever did the, um, the build for the new PC. So I don't necessarily count it. Um, but yeah, no, the PC itself was, was pretty pricey. Oh, come on, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, what's that? I was helping a buddy of mine plug himself Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> no. Senior year, I broke my mobo and crushed, oh, crushed the USB while putting it in back together. Oh, God, horror stories. Oh, the horror stories. <coughs> <coughs> That is horrifying. Okay, so I don't have any, um... Wait, do I have left switches? No, I don't. Okay. My peripherals are going to be expensive too. Yeah, my... What was it? The mouse that I have for... Actually, no, the webcam that I'm using right now, I think it was like... Oh, God. $149, the webcam. The mouse was 80-something, I think. Um, all my peripherals I have from uh, Razer, not sponsored. I really wish I were because I, I love Razer's products so much. The mic, that was 49 The mouse pad, I think, was like 80 The headset was... I'm even forgetting these prices. I think it was like upwards of $100. Um, the mouse pad, I think, was like 60 or $80 at most. Um, the headset stand was a good 40, I think. Um, the capture card that I'm using to capture the footage and everything right now was like 100, oh God, 180 or something. 
Though my server had to deal with a random shutdown while the chip was running at 90 degrees Celsius. Thought the soldier was gonna melt. Oh gosh. Uh, I was born in 92. So whenever my dad was doing stuff, I was seeing him programming and everything. I would see him like, work building computers and all that kind of stuff. So it was, it was really fascinating. I, I was around it ever since I was a kid. Only thing that won't be expensive is the microphone and stand since they uh, had extras at a radio station. They said they'd love to donate us. Oh, that's really cool. That's really awesome. I'm glad about that. I was, I'm so old. I remember Radio Shack. <laughs> Your parents work at radio station. Very nice. Very nice. That's awesome. That's so cool. You see, I love that they're helping out like that. Man, it makes my heart so warm to see that other people's parents as well, like, are invested in what their kids are doing as well. Because it, it's really, it's really a treat whenever you see parents also care about their kids, how, like, what they love to do and where their heart is. Oh wow, okay, Fester, interesting. Wait, so you're saying you're a nerd? Yes, I'm saying I am a mega nerd. Um, I also do coding as well. I'm like learning, um, excuse me, see hashtag coding. So, I, yes, I am a <laughs> mucho nerd. Um, there was an announcement that's going to be coming out very soon. So, you're going to see how much of a <laughs> Don't even think about it. Don't spew your blood and guts out to me, okay? This is not a venting session for the demons. I remember Blockbuster before bankruptcy. Me too! Oh my gosh, I remember Blockbuster. Oh, Blockbuster was everything. That was, that was, that was the life. I, I remember Blockbuster. Okay, I'm not gonna go, hold on a second. I wanna be able to... No, I need to get something in. I need to get the butt, the butt, the butt, the booty. Hear my awkward voice on Crispy Sheriff's SM7B. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a Yeah, I know. It was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> I know it's not C hashtag. Calm down. <laughs> oh man, I can just imagine the look on your face right now. C sharp. I know what it's actually called. Oh, I need. Oof, I need echoes right now. Not echoes. Pfft. I need HP stuff. HP like that. Oh, nothing for me. Darn it. 
Yes, it's a joke. I know. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait, why are you sad now? <laughs> C++, C++. <laughs> oh, gosh. C sharp. Don't you mean a C D flat? <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to be D flat with an asterisk on top. No, I'm okay, just joking. Uh, the plus are arranged stacked. <laughs> Now, whenever I, I, I originally would say, like, C hashtag just to get, like, my developer friends pissed off at me, and be like, you know it's C sharp. Don't be stupid right now. <laughs> that was, like, literally, it's just a joke. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's funny. It's so funny. Oh, really? You're gonna go away. Go away, Karen. <sighs> well, he is motored in, he's C sharp. <laughs> Pepsi, since you're the mod who's here tonight, could you do me a big favor? And for anybody who's new here, could you put the rules in chat for people? Just in case, I just want people to know. Python, Java, C, hashtag, C, sharp. It was a joke. <laughs> Literally, I am start, I, I'm learning C sharp, okay? I would know not to call it C hashtag. Ah, oh, Jesus. I tried Python. I got so confused by Python. Um, C Sharp was one of the only ones that I really gravitated towards because it deals more with graphics than anything, and that's where I'm more leaning towards. Um, but I will say, for the first thing that I am going to be creating, it's not going to require coding much at all because I'm going to be using, um, whatchamacallit, I'm going to be using Twine for it because it's more story based than anything. <clears throat> I'm gonna use that joke now, thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm glad. I'm glad I can be of service. Though, to be honest, there are some really weird programming languages names out there. There, there are, um, like Python. Um, I don't know why you would name it after a snake, but that's okay. Is it because of how fast the programming languages learn? I think not. Anything over there? Eh. Nope. Common yarn and clothing. Well worn. Damp with sweat. Disgusting. <gasps> go and get some of those healy things. I'm going to try to use the bullets to my advantage because those might work too. I don't know why, but all of a sudden it just got so chilly in my room. I'm so happy I'm wearing a sweater right now because it is actually kind of cold in here. <laughs> about the doggies. 
I will grab you. He thought he could block me, but no. Does he not know who I am? I am. I am. My character's name is Valia. I am Valia the Great and Clumsy. Okay? You know what? That should be my Dark Souls name. Whenever I go into playing Dark Souls 2 to stream it, that's just gonna be my name. The Great Clumsy. Like, <laughs> that's just gonna be- that's gonna be it. Nothing like revolutionary, like Valia, or, you know, Prince So-and-So the Second. No, it's just going to be The Great Clumsy. That's it. That's all it's gonna be. And... Oh yeah, no, I've already done a little bit of programming whenever I worked at a game company uh, a few years ago. So I already know a little bit of the basics of programming. Um, it's just knowing how to do it, you know, more so fluently. That's what I'm learning. It's going to be rather interesting. No, that was, that was off. That was so off. Listen, 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 listen. You are getting really footsy right now. That was bad. That was bad. <clears throat> yeah, when I worked at a, a game company, I was a head writer. And what they, I don't know why they had us do this, but we would on, like, switch positions with people sometimes have other people do other people's work and I would do like minimal coding for some of the games that we would and I it wouldn't even be me like really doing the coding it would be our head CEO because he was the one who coded all of the games and then he would ask my opinion on like the different things that we were coding and I'm like that's not that's not me coding that's just you asking me about things when you're doing the work and you know, if you didn't need anybody to help you, then why'd you ask? Like, it, it was just a very much of a cluster F. So, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, learning how to code for games is a whole ballpark that is very, not only complicated, but it's fun. It's like a puzzle that you just have to work out and at first it kind of looks like a child's play toy but then after a while it kind of looks like this and I'm very excited when that happens. <laughs> my, exci my excitement is more like leaning towards like wanting to do mocap because I want to be able to make the characters do fun stuff. So. No, no, stop throwing up blood. Stop throwing up blood. Okay, please. You need to go to the hospital. Reuniting, uh, wait a second. Reuniting keepers for a song? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Unless you're talking about what I think you're talking about, and I don't think anybody would know about this because of how old it is. Um, not how old it is, but because I, I don't talk about it. The last time I talked about it, like, you know what? Years and years ago. I don't, I don't know if you're referring to what I think you're referring to. 
Certainly, if that's a case, then I can talk about it with people because it's been so long that I don't, I don't mind discussing it. <coughs> you know what? I'm just going to try to... You are going to... Yeah, you're going to kill me. That's fine. Of kit. Caleb! Oh my gosh! I did... I didn't recognize your username at all. Shit. Dude, how have you been? I didn't even realize that it was you in the chat. Dude, how the hell have you been? Okay, wait a second. We're pausing this really quickly. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. How the hell have you been? I didn't realize that it was you with your username and everything like that. I, okay, I have not heard the name Keepers of Cantus in years like that. Oh my gosh. I have not heard that name in years. First of all, welcome to the stream. Welcome to chat and everything like that. It is amazing to have you here. Um, second of all, um, so for those of you who do not know, The Keepers of Cantus was a band that I made that they had Caleb in it. Caleb, I knew him in college. And it was with another one of our friend, uh, Blaine, and it was it was a really, it was such a good time. It was such a good time. We, we created some, some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, it was it was a, it was cut short because you know school and all that kind of stuff really just got in the way of us doing you know a lot of really really cool things and everything. Um, I like to pop in every once in a while. I love seeing your content. That's that's really really sweet. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. It's it's really it, wow. Like I literally can't believe that I have not heard of the name Keepers of Cantus in years. I started the Keepers of Cantus when I was like 18, 19 years old. And I was a sophomore in college, and then I came to them when I was like, what, end of my soft end of what end of our sophomore year, beginning of our junior year in college, we started doing like the music and everything like that, <clears throat> and we would do like a photo, <laughs> we would do photo shoots with Stephanie and everything, and it, we have some, we have some good photos. Actually, one of the photos that's his profile pic on Instagram is from the photo shoot that we all did. And I love the fact that you still use that. It's so cool. Um, it, it was really a fun time. Like I did like kind of alternative rock type style stuff. And I still have some of my original music on uh, on YouTube. So, um, oh gosh, I can even share it on Twitter because it's been such a long time. Uh, Lost City was one of them. There was a more recent one called Savage Heart that I did. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't under the label of the Keepers of Cantus, but that name that I created, Cantus is Latin for music. So it was the Keepers of Music, basically. And I thought that I was being so cool, but everyone was like, what, what does Cantus mean? Like, what, what, why is it like, what, what is this thing called Cantus? And I thought, okay, you know, maybe I should name it this. I'm looking for um, a feature for a song I am writing. Also, how <laughs> how was college like four or five years ago? I know, right? It's crazy. It's like I literally just turned 29 yesterday, and I feel so old right now. Like I was reminiscing with uh, my mom, and she was just like, you know, if you kept in touch with people from college, I was like, yeah, here and there, we have our everybody is always like we're we're all so busy now with real life shit that we very seldom do we take the time to like just sit down and just think like shit college was like four to five years ago now <laughs> you know whenever I graduated I thought you know we're probably not gonna you know all of us are probably not gonna stay in touch but you and like you're still on my Instagram I still see your stuff and everything like that and it's so cool that a lot of us still like pretty much kept in kept in check with one another and everything it's just so cool because it's like you know, it's not like high school of where you have like these certain, you still have clicks, but it's not to the degree that it was of high school. You know, you still, people care about one another in college, especially, um, and I'll shout them out because I love the university that I went to. St. Francis was absolutely incredible. Um, if any of you guys ever decide like, you know, to go to there for classes or anything like that, I would highly recommend it because I, um, I studied psychology there and I ended up getting a degree in psychology and a triple minor in communications, fine arts, and philosophy. And it was one of the best decisions I ever made. Originally, I never thought I would ever belong there <laughs> in a setting like college because I always thought everyone was way smarter than me. But it turned out that I was, you know, just being a big dumb dumb and that I was, you know, equally as smart too. So, but honestly, it's so cool. Like whenever, um, <laughs> whenever we were doing the, um, oh gosh, 
the Keepers of Kansas stuff, I remember the photo shoots that we would do. It was so silly. It was so fun. It was so just energetic. But I still remember whenever we were doing one photo shoot and Blaine was like, how do I pose? How do I do this whole thing? <laughs> and it was just, it was a fun time. It was really, really fun. Uh, for sure, college was amazing lifelong friends. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So what I'm seeing is Caleb dude broke stream. <laughs> he didn't break stream. He literally like caused me to have like a mental clusterfuck and I'm just like, holy shit, I cannot believe like one of my college friends is here in my chat right now. It's really, really like, I just, I think it's awesome. So I think it's really cool. And I just want to say thank you for stepping by and you know, legit caring because it's, it's weird. I kept in touch with so little people from, uh, from college because the people who some of them I did keep in touch with ended up literally stabbing me in the back. Not even going to sugarcoat it. That's just how it was. They just literally was like, Hey, Ariel, turn around. <laughs> like that, that's morbid as fuck, but you know, it really, it's, it's what happened. Um, but it was one of those things of where, you know, people like you, people like Steph, people who genuinely were like good people still keep in contact with those other ones were just, it, it was, it, <laughs> it was not cool. So Blade had no idea how to pose. I remember one pose that he did. He tried to like, look like the cool, like emo guy. And he just went like this. And I'm just like, that's not the, okay. Yeah, no, cool, okay. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's cool, bruh. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh my god, it was such a fun time because I remember, like, my, if I still have the pictures, hold on, I can show you guys because it was, it was chaotic. I think I still have it on my Instagram, actually. Oh my god, it's chaotic. Like, we're going down memory lane right now. This is definitely memory lane. Uh, let me get past <laughs> all the game we posted and everything. Where is it? It was back like 2013, I think. It was a long ass time ago. Probably doesn't seem that long ago, but it was, it was a long time ago. Let's see. Nope, not Silent Hill. It's so funny too, because it's like when we were doing that, that was the first time I had ever like really tried to put something together that, incl <laughs> that included other people. So what I had, I literally had no idea what I was doing at all whatsoever. Okay. We're getting close. I feel this is when I had the side of my head shaved and I feel it's around that area. Cause that's when I started doing YouTube. Um, I still have it as my instrument. I know I saw that. I'm just like, I was, Oh my gosh. I love that. I really do. Okay. It's around here. I'm seeing college pictures. I'm seeing me looking just through it. Okay. Um, or was it? Okay. So this is one of, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not going to show that. That's just, it's just chaotic. No, we're not going to deal with that. Okay. So this is a, actually at a gig. I'm very proud of this gig. This was one of my favorites that I ever did. And they were taking pictures and everything. And I'm trying to grow my hair back to that length. Um, let it focus. That was before graduation. Actually, that was a, a year or so before graduation. I had that gig and it was one of the best gigs I ever had actually. Um, oh, <laughs> here it is. Okay. So <laughs> This was one of them. <laughs> they were trying to pose. And they were like, let's get solo shots. <laughs> and I just do that. And there was another one. They were like, do you want this stuff for your Instagram? I was just like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That was like, we didn't get too many shots, but the ones that we did get, they were kind of hilarious. Like, I didn't know how to pose, so I tried to do stuff like that. It, it was a mess. Okay. It was still a mess. I had, I had hair. I have, I have, it's growing. It's getting there. Um, yeah. From being a blonde for a very long time, it got, it got really nasty. So. And now I'm starting to get gray hair. Oh my gosh. Yes. The, um, <clears throat> what's it? Oh gosh. Am I forgetting the name now? 
Gubbio. That was it. Gubbio. Freaking Gubbio. My gosh. And we would stay up until like, what, 2 o'clock in the morning in the library going back and forth between Gubbio and, uh, and the library doing studying and everything like that? Oh my god. I swear. That's one thing that I miss about college is the studying. I, as hard as it is to believe, that is the thing that I miss the most about college. Because I remember, um, oh gosh, do you remember Dr. Baker? <laughs> and he was one of my favorite teachers, one of my favorite professors. He actually was the one who monitored my thesis for, uh, for senior year. And senior year was hell. Like, it was a good kind of hell, but it was hell. Because there was so much that was going on. It was the first time I had a job off campus. I was a bartender for both semesters and I also did gigs and I performed at the same time and I was making like $50 a gig. It was literally almost nothing, but that was a lot to a college student at a time and I used all of that to like pay off um, like books and texts and all of that kind of stuff for like biopsychology and everything like that. So yeah, and then after that, you and me and Steph and everybody would go down to like Gubbio and study for a few hours, then I would have my shift and then I would come back and we would still be studying, we would still be doing all those things. And that's something that I really miss. And now it's a different kind of love, I mean, you know, my job, you know, here, like being, doing, being a game journalist, which I never thought, <clears throat> I never thought that I would ever get to do. I never thought that my love of games would turn into a job <laughs> of where I actually get to use my degree for psychology in that. And that just makes me so, I don't know, it makes me feel so fucking warm inside, you know? <laughs> like, it's just, I don't know, it's something really, really cool. So it's amazing to see how, like, we all evolve after college because we all think that, oh, you know, our jobs and everything, our degree, it's going to be, you know, just this one thing, but nobody really tells you. <clears throat> nobody really tells you that you can use your degree in literally any way that you want to it doesn't necessarily have to you know be like one strict guideline for anything like you know granted yes do I want to get my master's degree in clinical psychology absolutely at some point I'm definitely gonna be doing that um, but you can use your degree literally for anything literally anything like it doesn't have to be strict of what you think the world wants you to use it as you know only side class i had was developmental that's awesome i'm glad you love what you're doing I, I i truly do and that's the thing of where like in gaming nobody really talks about the psychology of games like in this game bloodborne nobody really talks about the psychology of like what insight is the whole echoes and bonfire principle in dark souls and all that kind of stuff so <clears throat> Oh, you graduated with a psych degree. Okay, that's really awesome. So yeah, you know where I'm coming from whenever, like, okay, wait, I have a question. Did you have statistics? <laughs> because that one class with, do you remember Dr. Moist? Caleb, oh my god. I remember that class. It was so good. But it, it literally, it made me feel, <laughs> it made me feel numb to the world. I feel like statistics is the only class that made me just feel like I'm done. I'm dead. <laughs> it was so great, though, because it's like doc Dr. Moist was one of my favorite professors. She was my advisor. And if you guys ever go to St. Francis and visit that place, tell Dr. Moist I said hi, because she is absolutely incredible. <clears throat> also, folks, get a damn therapist. You'll feel like, yes. Get a therapist. Although I'm not licensed yet, but you know, get a therapist. Seriously, it helps. It's it truly, truly helps because it makes you rationalize and reason through things a lot better uh, with someone else than on your own. It's really, really amazing. Because the fact of the matter is, is when you go and you see someone, you're literally just sitting there discussing your problems, discussing about your day, discussing about these things that are bothering you and talking about things are it's just so underrated because when you talk about things you'll look at it in a different perspective and especially when like with the perspective of somebody who is trained in the field to help you it helps so so much there are cases in which you know yeah you have to have a little more of an intervention and everything like that but it's just such a blessing you know you took stats in high school who stats in college is another animal entirely <laughs> Oh my god, I remember, um, oh gosh, what class was it? I still have the binder for it, actually, because I still use it in my analysis for games. Personality psychology. Dr. King. 
Do we remember her, Caleb? <laughs> that class was absolutely incredible. And it was the hardest I ever worked in any class. Dr. King was and is a legend. She's amazing. And the feminist that everybody needs in their life. She asked me so many questions that I never thought I'd ask myself. Do it. Mental health equals physical health. Exactly. Exactly. Like, you need, like, all the questions that you need to literally be conscious of throughout the day, your therapist will remind you to do that. Like, have you drank water today? Are you treating yourself the way you would treat other people? Are you treating yourself kinder? Are you being better to your circumstantial situations? Are you understanding that you can only do so much in a day in the allotted time that you are given of 24 hours? Like, you have to be kind to yourself. You have to understand that not only seeing a therapist, but taking that advice. And because people see therapists just to see therapists sometimes and they won't actually take in the advice, which then I think, why are you paying that money to do that? But there are so many things of where, like, therapists help the equilibrium of the brain. If the therapist is trained correctly, they'll know how to do this in a way that helps the person get to their maximum potential. So... I think that's, you know, it's beneficial for everybody to seek therapy and, you know, talk to people about their issues because everybody has trauma. Everybody has trauma. It's just the way in which you go about dealing it that kind of guides you into a better form of living and physical and mental health. So, <clears throat> man, I'm so glad that we are talking. Like, I am just, I'm beyond just happy that you're in my stream and we're going to continue for a little bit because I still want to try to get this boss battle but I'm also so incredibly glad that I got to just sit down and chat with you for a bit and still chat because um, you know it's it's weird like a lot of people from uh, college drift apart and everything like that every so often like you know oh people will keep in touch and will stay in contact and all that kind of stuff and I feel it's so important for people to keep those relationships you know it's just so so incredibly important and I think it's so vital to the human condition that people work through their friendships and not like I don't want to say like you know abandon them because there's so many like it's the easy route right like so many people are just like oh you know this is difficult I'm gonna you know not do this anymore but in reality people should just be you know it's like watering plants you need to water a relationship you need to water a friendship you need to water the consistencies that you have in your life or else it won't go you should let it go you know I know that sounds so sometimes like it's so juicy, but it's so true so let's see if we can actually get this boss because that would be oh my god so legit Karen <laughs> that would be so cool hey what's going on Bodie? how you doing are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Okay, 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 this guy came to play. <laughs> okay, that's good. You know, even their psychology behind this boss battle, the conglomeration of body parts, uh, the conglomeration of, like, different things being thrown at you all at once, um... It could also be a mental, uh, like a metaphor for mental health because you see like the multiple body parts, you see the legs, you see the kicking, you see the screaming. This could be deemed as a form of anger issues because you have all of this consternation in just like one being, <laughs> one cesspool of crap that is that creature, the one reborn. So it could be leaning towards like some unhealthy mental health. 100%. I'm actually headed to bed. I have an early day tomorrow. I will send you some of my music if you want to listen. Have a great night. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to listen to it. I'll send you some of my stuff that I was working on too. Sounds good to me. And thank you so much for stopping by. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. Have a good night, okay? Ciao, ciao, Fester. <laughs> I don't know why I almost re read it as meow meow. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I almost read it as meow meow. <laughs> oh goodness me. I almost read that as meow meow. <laughs> and we've almost, oh my god, we've almost been live streaming now for three hours. <laughs> okay, um, 
We're gonna go for a little bit longer. I really want to beat this boss. If I can't beat this boss, it's okay. Ideally, I really want to beat this boss. If I can't, I'll be okay with it. I won't like it, but I'll be okay with it. Um, but we're gonna try until like the three hour mark. So. Hell yeah. Peace. Bye, chat. <laughs> Bye, Caleb. The one reborn. Half memes. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Meow Meow, the one who me meowed. <laughs> oh, see, I waited too long. You thought you could get me. I'm over here. I'm over there. Where will I be? Nobody knows. Oh, you... I was healing. We'll see what I'm doing in a second. Hold on. Not going to work, but I I think I I think I might actually have an idea. I might have an idea. I have some things working in the brain, okay? Psych degree is cognitive psychology. Oh, very nice. I had a uh, focus on clinical psychology with mine. Um, more, lean, more or less uh, lean towards that. Which is but that's really, really cool. That is really awesome that you were able to get a degree in psychology. How, how do you like it? Like, do you, uh, did you like your time getting a degree in psychology? Or what, what were your thoughts on it?
Okay, I thought I could like fight Zillion or something. Which I don't think I could have done. Oh, oh, that was painful. Miss Wixie, how are you? Okay. No, could clip theta. If my AI got an A on the test, I got an A in the class, etc. etc. My last class was a neural networks course where the grade was dependent on how well my AI did on the test. That is really cool. That's actually really freaking cool. I like that. That's really awesome. Okay. <coughs> okay, I need to get more of these so I can get more blood out. I just wanted to see if I could, like, Clip them through the wall if that were possible. Like, if I could get that, needless to say, I could get that. So, oh, multi cocktails. Okay, that's going to come in handy. to do after I get the blood vials we're only going to do a couple more tries. Okay, well, I'm done with paperwork and bills to the best of my ability. Hey, very nice, very nice. That's always such a good feeling. Whenever, like, bills are done and everything like that, it just means, like, okay, my brain can relax for now. <laughs> Needed out of Gains insight 
can drive a person mad. So <laughs> that literally ties to kind of the philosophy of reality driving one insane because you are seeing the world for what it is. No rose-colored glasses. You're seeing the nastiness. You're seeing the beauty. You're seeing everything. <laughs> Which, it, that's really fascinating, actually. <clears throat> so it's, so the, uh, the cruelty and realism of the world is what's driving the person insane. Oh, interesting. Okay. Good to know. Excuse me. Or you gotta check out uh, new reviews about content and uh, good content and why certain designs were done a certain way. Interesting, okay, absolutely. get any headway um I, it's just the, the way it's gonna have to be because the, those are like maybe 50 percent of why the boss battle is so annoying because you have them constantly like throwing great balls of fire at your ass uh the lamps originally were supposed to be chairs and some other cool insights oh interesting okay i like that that's actually really really cool Yeah, it just hit the three hour mark right now for live stream. So what we're going to do is this will be the last attempt that I'm going to do for this boss battle. And I'm gonna try killing the witches first and then going ahead. And yes, that humming sound in the background is the compressor for anybody who is going to ask. <coughs> What's up? He's at 50. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
Oh my god, there are. She got up and she's not dead. There we go. Thank you. Uh, it literally was raining blood. It's raining blood. So much easier to uh to fight. What was that sw what was that filling with? Was that water? What was that? I don't know. I don't know what that was. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to do. From that one in this boss battle, I am going to um, beat the witches first, and then go about with that guy. So, <clears throat> but yeah, you guys, that was it for the stream. My stubbornness is like, no, keep going, keep going. But my other side is like, Ariel, get food and just relax. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, that was a really awesome stream. We got through uh, some parts of Canehurst. We're going to wait until I level up into like a 70 at least, or a 75 at the most, to uh, to defeat the boss there at Canehurst. And yeah, we're just going to keep going with this boss here, the one reborn. I'm going to look up, uh, you know, how speedrunners actually do this boss battle because I want to see what their tactics are. And then we're going to come back at this on Wednesday. Also, Wednesday, there's going to be like a multitude of videos. There's going to be like three videos. Uh, there's going to be the casual nerd. There's going to be my top picks uh, for the my five favorite bosses in Bloodborne. Not Bloodborne. Uh, in Dark Souls, rather. It's all the same thing. And yeah, on Friday, there's going to be a psychologically gaming on the bonfires in Bloodborne as well. Thanks for your time, Pippi. Thank you again, and see you on Discord. See you on Discord, dude. I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope everyone who came by had a wonderful time with the stream. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I'm going to fill myself with some Chinese food and some Snapple iced tea, and I will see you guys on Twitter and on Discord. Bye, you guys. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, stay casual and nerdy, and I will see you all in the